Hey Joris, you're here. Yeah. Hey Eric, let's quickly go to the morning meeting, shall we? Oh, what's the morning meeting? Oh, okay. Remember earlier, we were in the control room and I explained to you the stuff that's on the screens and the commands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The commands and all of that. Well, most of that's decided here at the morning meeting. We have a scheduling meeting, okay. a morning meeting every day, and that's where it all happens. Alright. Let's have a look inside, shall we? Alright then. Okay. Let's go. Hey Jonas, come inside, we're about to have a pass. Pass? Yeah. What's that, do you mean a satellite? Yeah, yeah, uh, MetaPay and MetaP are uh, doing a pass. MetaPay is right now over the Arctic Circle at our Svalbard station. MetaP is at the Antarctic at our McMurdo station. Do you have many ground stations at these? Well, we've got two prime ground stations in the Arctic and the Antarctic, but also we can use some other stations if we need to. So, this one then? Where exactly? Uh, that's a Svalbard antenna inside. Okay, so this is where the data just dropped basically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, I'll tell you something Jonas, we've got a lot more video that you could probably use for your project and make a montage out of it. I do that. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this little montage of Svalbard, which is the perfect example of how a ground station looks like. Umitsat uses these ground stations, located a bit everywhere on the planet, to catch the data that's been accumulated by the satellites throughout their orbit, with the help of these big, massive radar dishes that you've just seen. Where does the data go next? Well, it comes back here at Umitsat. And next week, we will go to Offenbach, which is not too far away from here, to discover how the data collected helps the DWD, the Deutsche Wetterdienst, to forecast the weather. Thank you.